it's something that's so different and so non-traditional. So you get a look at history that you don't get in just a normal history classroom. You learn about the, the development of art through various contexts and time. Mostly you look at different movements in art and how art has progressed and changed to reflect the time period it's made in. You learn how to really look at art and analyze it. So if you can understand the artistic and the aesthetic elements behind it, you can even further understand the society in which it was built. Here at Simpson, they can expect to gain a real solid grounding of the basic skills and rudiments of drawing and painting and photography and graphic design but I think they can expect that they'll be finding as they move through their four years more creative ways to apply that. It relates to almost anything and it can relate to any field. One thing that we do is we try to bring students and their understanding of art into the real world of art, into contemporary art and to the art world in general. Whatever you're studying you have to understand what's behind it and art has a huge impact on that and art is a huge representative of that. That's why you should take art history classes. I think we have a really close-knit community of students and faculty. I think the students are dedicated. I think the faculty are all dedicated and really wanting the students to be the best they can be. I would say art is still very much alive and it's still very important to our society.